Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Um, the message I have for today is you're a star and it's infecting. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 42, 13 through 18. However, if you say, we will not stay in this land, and so disobey the Lord your God. And if you say, no, we will go and live in Egypt, where we will not see war or hear the trumpet or be hungry for bread. Then the word of the Lord, you remnant of Judah. Then hear the word of the Lord, you remnant of Judah. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. If you are determined to go to Egypt, and you do go to settle there, then the sword you fear will overtake you there. And the famine you dread will follow you into Egypt, and there you will die. Indeed, all who are determined to go to Egypt and to settle, there will die by the sword, famine, and plague. Not one of them will survive or escape the disaster I will bring on them. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. As my anger and wrath have been poured down, poured out on those who lived in Jerusalem, so will my wrath be poured out on you who, you when you go to Egypt. You will be a curse and an object of horror, a curse and an object of reproach. You will never see this place again. So this is the message for somebody. You are very popular. Okay. You are popular. You are popular. Um, a lot a lot of people like you. Um, a lot of people are interested in you. A lot of people like to listen to you. And God is saying that he has brought you to this position. It is not by yourself that you have come to this position. God has brought you to a place to where you are very, very popular and it's infecting. And it's not infecting like in a bad way. But the thing is, if you use your popularity for the wrong thing, it can become infecting and it can become infectious to other people. So God is saying that he has brought you here and he has you on this narrow path. Okay, regardless to whatever it is that you are doing right now, God says he has brought you here. You are on this narrow path and he wants you to stay on the path that you are going down. Because if you turn down the wrong path, if you go back to your old ways, if you go back to doing things that God has asked you not to do, you are going to infect others, okay? And because of that, he says, if you do that, he is going to put his entire foot down up on you in wrath and punishment. He says that you will deal with the famine, the sword, and everything else. Dread will follow you into Egypt, and there you will die. God says he is going to put a complete ending to you if you lead his children to destruction. And that's the message, okay? It's like, it's, it's good and it's not good, okay? <laughs> God has said you are a star. You are somebody that, um, you, you, it's like you influence people. And a lot of people like to be, like they want to be like you. They want to do what you do. They want to, it's, it's just like, people are interested in you. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you do it. You always attract attention from people. No matter how you live your life, no matter. It's like you always attract people's attention. And God wants you to use that for good. God wants you to use that for his glory, which is what you are doing right now. But for somebody, you are having these second thoughts. You are having these thoughts in your head that it was easier when you were living your life this way. You would prefer to go back and live your life the way that you used to. You want to go back to your old ways. You're tired of this. And God is saying, if you go back to those old ways, he is going to allow an entire wrath to come up upon you because you have all these people looking at you. You have all these people following you. And a lot of them are going to follow you into whichever way that you go. Oh, that's the message. God said, do not do it. 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 Stay down the path that he is giving you. Okay. Um, I know it can be hard. I know it can be stressful. Um, I feel like this is for somebody you are, you know, it's, it's frustrating. It can be hard to come on a platform and tell people, um, that God is going to bless them and you and you are yourself waiting for a blessing. You are you yourself are in waiting. You yourself are um kind of being patient and trying to wait for something from God. So it can be hard to 
it, it can kind of, you know, in the way it can help you. It can, I don't want to say help you, but yeah, it can make you kind of give up. It can make you feel hopeless. It can make you feel like, um, it, it can make you feel like how, like you're being a hypocrite when you're telling people that they should do this and you're still yourself waiting on God. But you have to have faith that God is going to come through for you. You have to have faith in knowing that God is not going to allow you as someone who is on a platform talking to all these people, telling all these people God is going to come through for them um, to never receive what God is supposed to give you. You know, it would be like, it, it would be like God is saying a mass embarrassment to him. Because how could all these people be watching you? All these people know what you're waiting on. All these people know that you're waiting for this blessing from God and he never come through for you. How Like uh, that would in turn, you know, that would be him himself. Like you wouldn't even have anything to do with people turning away from him. People would be looking at you and they would see that, that you aren't receiving blessings. They would receive that, see that you aren't even receiving the things that you have been asking God for after all this time. And it will make people raise eyebrows and they will turn away. And God is saying that you have to have faith that God is going to come through for you. And you also have to understand that you are at a position now where you cannot turn back. The position you are in now, it is too late, too bad, too sad. He told you he was going to do this. Here it is. Too bad. You're here. Get over it. <laughs> this is reminding me of one of my um, prophecies when I had just got back. God said he would pull somebody. He was going to pull you up so fast that it will be impossible for you to turn away because um the, like it's for somebody that be trying to run away god said i'm gonna pull you up so fast that you can't go and hide nowhere nowhere there'll be nowhere for you to hide and that is what god is saying um for someone you're trying you want to go back and god is saying you cannot go back it's over you can never go back okay like <laughs> Charlie, you could never go back. You could never go back. All dogs go to heaven for those that don't know. Okay, I know I'm short sure by age. But anyways, God said you can never go. You cannot go back. You can't go back. It's done. It's finished. You are here now. Okay, you cannot. There's nowhere for you to be to hide. There's nowhere that you will be able to have peace. Um, even if you were to try to go to a little small town where don't nobody know you, God will ruffle up things around there just to get you up out of there. Okay. Just like God did Jonah in that, uh, in that boat, God stirred up the water in such a way. And Jonah was sitting in the corner sleep. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on and why it's going on. And it's his fault the whole time. They just didn't realize that him, it was him because he was running from God and God did, did just about had enough out of him. God is saying he's not about to allow you to run. He's not about to allow you to go back. You're not going to be able to go and hide anywhere. You're not going to be able to go and get away from God. Like, you, you cannot hide from God. Get out of there, okay? That's the message. God said, if you go back, if you go back to the nonsense that you used to deal with, baby, the wrath that God is going to bring down upon you. And you know, I know it can be hard um, because it, it's annoying to me that some people, you know, especially as someone that is a, a speaker for God, a prophet, I'm, I'm a voice of God, a vessel for God, a servant of God, that some people that do the same thing can be competitive. They can be very um, nasty in a sense, you know. And I just feel like it's ridiculous. You know, as children of God, we're supposed to love each other. As children of God, we're supposed to be trying to help each other. We're supposed to be supportive of each other, not trying to tear each other down. And, you know, I know um, for whomever this is for, it can be stressful. Um, when you're dealing with that, it can be kind of like, you know, it can hurt your feelings, really, just to say it. Because, um... It's very hard when you go from being the person who is watching someone to the person who is making videos um, and a person that you used to watch is now shooting slugs at you. 
and you know it can be very hurtful you know um it's not just like like it, it, it i can't even get around it can be very hurtful but you know god is telling me to tell somebody that you have to allow him to deal with them that's 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 his territory because god is our boss you know, so if God, God sees everything, he knows everything that's going on and he sees everybody's hearts and you don't want to be in a position to where you hear somebody say something and you think they throwing slugs at you and they shooting shots at you and they really not even talking about you. They not worried about you and they not trying to say anything towards you at all. So, you know, it's kind of like, because as a prophet, we don't know who the message is for. We don't know who who God is intending for us to speak to. And there are some people that um, are touched by the words that you would never imagine are touched by the words. And, you know, like, you know, it, it just leave it to God. OK, leave it to God. Don't put yourself in a position to where you are um, fighting with somebody or you feel like you're going back and forth with somebody. Are you, you know, allow them to fight themselves. OK, if you feel like they are coming after you, let them go and attack themselves. They can go back and forth with themselves. You don't have to go back and forth with them because God will deal with them. And that's the message, you know, especially when it's a situation. Um, God gave me a prophecy, a prophecy about that for anybody who is a prophet of God, anybody that God is calling you to come and speak to his children. God is calling you to say things to his children, anybody that comes in between you relaying a message to his children they will have to deal with god god is the one that is going to come in that is going to deal with that god is the one that will come in and and send a wrath down upon them for uh interfering with what he asked you to do and that's the message okay thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe deuces